Let's do this integral that looks pretty nasty, but it's actually not that bad. It just has a lot of ugly constants in it. So I have it written out like this, and I've started the integral here. So what I'm going to just do is just distribute this guy to each piece here. And he's going to be multiplied by there, and he's going to be multiplied by here. So I'll take my trusty calculator, and I do 62.4 times 6561.68 and I get this lovely number 409448.8328 h minus 62.4 times 1.6666 103.99, so that's 103.9958, and then I multiply the h times the h, and that gives me an h squared. Now again, break it down so it doesn't look so bad to you. Like, I know the sum and difference rule says I can take the derivative of this, or integral of this, minus the integral of this. So let's do that. If I take the integral of this, I can take out the constant. Okay, I can do the same thing on the next one. What your goal is when you integrate stuff is to make it look as easy as possible using as many properties as possible. See now, within the integral themselves are pretty, pretty straightforward things to do. So I just have to keep writing my numbers properly so I don't have a transfer error. All right, the integral of h is h squared over 2. That's going to go from 0 to 590.55 minus. The integral of h squared is h cubed over 3, 0 to 590.55. Again, take your time. Write it out piece by piece. 409448.8328. Point eight three two using the fundamental theorem of calculus. I'm going to plug in this number here. So 590.55 squared divided by 2 minus, I'm going to plug in 0 here. That's just 0. Do the same thing over here. Plug in 590.55 in here. cubed over 3, and I plug in 0, minus 0. Looks good so far. I keep going. Um, I'm just going to, I have to distribute this to both pieces, so I'm going to put this number times this number in my calculator here, and then write down the resultant number. 40944 8 0.832 times 590.55 squared divided by 2. It looks like that'll work. It'll take 590 squared and then it'll multiply this number by the 590 squared and then divide the whole thing by 2, which should give me the appropriate number. 7.1397 times 10 to the 10th. 7.1397 times 10 to the 10th. Minus, and I'm going to do the same thing with this number. Clear this out a little bit. 103.9958 times 590.55 cubed divided by 3. That looks like it's okay. I think I'm missing a parenthesis. It's going to complain about that. So I need to put a parenthesis. I think it's going to have to go in here. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this is hard to look at here. 5, 5, parenthesis. There it goes. So 595, 5 cubed divided by 3 times 103.9958. Okay, that looks all right. Ugh. That's a lovely number. I'm going to write it down. I think I'm going to write it using interval note or um, 
I'm going to use a, what is this notation, scientific notation, 7.1394, 7.1394 times 10 to the, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And I just have to subtract those two. So, hey, my little dog's down there whining. 7.1397 times 10 to the uh, tenth minus 7.1394 times 10 to the ninth. We get 6.4257. Six point four two five eight actually times ten to the tenth. And I'm thinking that's what I got on the previous problem when I did it, uh, the one that you said you didn't really like. Let's see what I got here. Yep, I got the exact same answer. So that's how you do that integral by hand.